We're visiting the Henry Cohen House at 920 Green Street, built circa 1853. This was a big project for Historic Augusta. We put it on our endangered properties list. We found a preservation-minded buyer who bought the building, rehabbed it, and has put six apartments inside. And so today, we're gonna visit one of our favorite local celebrities, Leonard Zimmerman, and he'll tell us a little bit about his downtown experience. So come on. So, Leonard, tell me about how you love living in this building and uh, what you like most about downtown. Uh, the thing is, I can walk out of this building and be in the, in the middle of everything going on. So if I go out, I can be with people immediately. Absolutely. So. What inspires you about downtown? The, the, the history, there's just so much history, like this building, just being able to live down here, especially my favorite object downtown is the Blinky Tower, the at t Tower. So and that's literally outside my, my window, so. Love it. One of the things about this building since you were mentioning history is that it was built in 1853, around thereabouts, mm -hmm. and it was built for Isaac um, Henry and Henry Cohen. And they are actually um, Jewish business owners, and they have a tie to the Beehive Building down on 9th Street. And that's another of my favorite buildings downtown. Great building. And that's one of the things we love kind of marking off these iconic buildings in downtown, that yeah. we find people who are able to find a use for them, rehab them, and then they're able to tell the stories yeah. of the buildings. And so that's why Historic Augusta really believes in preservation and, and kind of connecting the right people together. Mm -hmm. um, what is, I know in your apartment, it's it's a really kind of interesting space because we're up here in the attic, but <laughs> it's nice and you've got great oh, views and it, it's spacious. It is, and, and, and like the ceilings, so the shape of the ceiling here, this is echoed on the other side because I have the entire front. And so the windows are low like this, so when you're in there, you're literally, you stand right there and you can see down, but then you squat down, there's so much you can see out. And I have the old library right yes. next to my bedroom. And that, and so, um, this is me getting excited and geeky here, but so like, you know, if you have a pinhole camera, you have that little hole that projects the light in and then it, it creates a mirror image flipped on your wall. So I have the same type of thing coming into the bedroom. I can see the actual library projected on my wall through a slit in the, the blinds, which I know that sounds weird, but you can literally see the building on the wall. And that must be something that inspires you, because I know I've seen on social media some of your photos. I'm like, I know exactly what window he's been looking out of and what he's yeah, seeing. Yeah. And we were talking on our way up about the floors and how, yeah. you know, being on some of the upper levels, they aren't as ornate, but the original hardwood floors really cleaned up well, and it's such a character defining feature. Tell us a little bit about your menagerie here, because I know these are, I love seeing these when I drive down the road. Um, Plastic blow molds. When I was a little kid, the, the Christmas was always a big thing for me. And um, and now that I'm older, Christmas and Halloween, it's just the whole last quarter of the year is like, those are the perfect decorations. I even have an orange Santa Claus down there. Christmas stays out 24 seven, 365, so. That is awesome. <laughs> Do you like being able to just hop over to the office anytime you need to? To get to the office, um, I'm a three minute walk, so that's, yeah, so if I have to go over there for a meeting, I can just, yeah. That's a big plus. Yeah. Well, what else do you want to tell us? Um, Is there anything that sticks out in your mind? I know you've participated in the loft tour before when yeah. you lived in the comp house. Yeah, I just, it, the, the, as far as like being at the, preserving history in Augusta yeah. and everything, just, uh, Augusta has so much history and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad that I can be in the middle of it and be part of it too. So the, there's nowhere else in this city I'd rather live. I love it.